Hello everybody, it's Queen Rama and I'm back today. I am working on my trashy journal. I'm really loving it so far. Um, what I did, I went through and I pulled out some of the junk mail things that I want to cover somehow. And I wanted to show, this was a coffee box. Um, cappuccinos, oh my goodness, I love them so much. They're expensive though. But what I did was I just folded the box and I put these book pages on top, made some pockets here. This I just grunged up with some ink. And now I can kind of put something, a focal point on these. But this is ready to go into the book to decorate. So then I have this little package. I think this is from Jello, And I thought I'll make that into a pocket. I have my bag from the taking my dog to the vet and just cover something here maybe put some ink here my envelope I'm thinking this out gesso let's see I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this and then the things that have writing hmm some of them, like this one's really thick. This is the same, I think. Yeah. So I'm thinking I will, with these, I think I'm going to try, because this is two pages I glued together. Um, I think I'm going to gesso them and then going to try to use some of my sprays. So that's what I'm going to be working on um, to try to just get all my pages and stuff uh, together to go into the journal. Then I also, I might take some scraps like this and um, maybe cover them, do something that I can make tags um, with them. So I'll think about that. I just got some more embossing folders, so maybe I'll do that. I can spray them um, or use some different cardboard pieces and run them through my embossing machine. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm really excited to get working on it. So let's go.
Hey everybody, so I'm doing a little check-in here to let you know what I'm thinking about everything that I'm trying here. Because like I said, I've never really done um, making a journal this way before. So for example, using uh, junk mail and trying to, you know, paint over top of it and to use the mail. Um, I'm figuring out some stuff is good, other stuff not so much. And I don't want it to look junky, so... Um, that's kind of, that's like the hardest part, but I'm loving making this. Do my, my hands. Um, okay. So this is one of the junk mail, uh, pages that I folded here. And I love jelly prints for these. I mean, they're thin and they cover things up really nicely. And then I had these scraps just on my desk and so cute. Put a little bow on those, little mini tag pockets there. Okay, so I really like this one. And then this is the one that I showed before. Yeah, that is the, um, the coffee box. This is, oh, this is the bag from my vet covered up. Um, with another jelly print. I don't know if I'm going to sew this or what I'm going to do. Just leave the back as is. And it opens this way too. Oh, okay, so here. I have a thing with the brown um, envelopes. I order us so much stuff from Amazon. And when we get the brown packing envelopes, it has that little bit of padding in. I love this stuff. And I love to use it for soft cover journal, um, journals. And I thought, let me just make a page out of it. So that's what I did. I just love the feel of it. So I did one and let me see here. I did do another one. Where did I put it? I have so much stuff around here right now. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where I put it, but I did do another one. Um, I did, I cut out a couple of tags from some, I don't know what this box was, one of the pizza boxes maybe. Yeah. So I got to finish with those. I, now here's what I'm not liking covered this cardboard. This was one of the gift boxes, I think. Um, covered it with the book pages. I'm not liking these colors right now, but I might um, let it dry overnight so it's really, really nice and dry, and then um, do some stuff on top of it. Maybe some stamping, maybe. I don't know. There's something about the colors that I'm not liking, but you know what always makes me happy is blue. <laughs> so maybe I'll let it dry and add some blue. Um, also the thing is when you're, I ended up playing around with some of the, um, distress oxides and stains. And the thing about this is you never quite know how they're going to dry because the oxides, um, you know, react with the water and everything. So they, um, oxidize and end up not being quite so colorful. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these have the fan blowing on a couple of things here to um, dry overnight really well. But I did have an idea. So these are from a cookbook and I already had the pages gessoed. Okay, so I've got three pages here and I thought there's a pocket that I like. I should probably sew these down the middle and then I can make the pocket. All right, let me just show you here. So, yeah, let me sew it down the middle, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna have to stabilize this a little bit more, but I just wanted to show this pocket I thought I'm gonna make and put in my book. All right, so one side, it's basically, okay, you can see here. I'm gonna start a little bit in, say an inch in from the edge here. And we wanna bring the fold. And then I'm 
to cut off this excess here. Approximately. That's one side. Now we're going to do the same thing but on this side. So we're going to start here. And this one we don't have to be so particular because you're not going to see this part. So what it does is it makes this kind of fun pocket here. So again, once I ink it up and stuff, you'll be able to tell a little bit more, but just to do it again. So let's see, do we want it to be the same or different? Yeah, we'll make it be the same. So we're gonna start here. So we're going to go from this corner up to this corner a little bit. corner and fold down to this one. And then cut the excess. So you end up actually, and I'm going to cover these, so um, I don't want to glue anything down, but you end up having a little pocket here pocket here well you could say a pocket here and a pocket here so there's a lot of different areas just kind of a fun one right okay guys I'm doing another little check-in here um, I well you can see my hands look at that and I cut my finger <laughs> but I had a lot of fun um, those pages that I covered with the book the book pages that cardboard and I didn't like I um, when they were still a little damp I put them through my embossing machine and you guys come on you know that I love my embossing folders and playing with the inks so after I did them I just rubbed you know used my minis and went over top rubbed it right on so look now I love them see that and I got all these embossing folders so this has taken up a lot of my um, evening here how fun are these so I can cut them into like the little tag shape this was a jelly print paper that I put it on cardboard and then ran through this is also jelly print paper Some more cardboard pieces. Let me see. So you can see all of these I can do tags and different things with. So got all these guys. And then so when I was trying to add color and distress my papers and things, I used either the Distress Oxides, you saw I put it on this mat that I had. These are like uh, the cutting boards you can get. And I found a, a big pack of them from Amazon. And I just really like using them because I, this one, for example, I can keep it clean so I can just use it for my, uh, you know, my inks and things. Other ones I use for when I'm adding, you know, gesso and glue so they get kind of yucky. Um... So, oh yes, so the Distress 
oxides or I just squash it in some water and then press my paper down in there. And then I was using uh, the thing that it looks like a watercolor palette. Those are mica powders that I turned into the watercolors. Um, and I do have a video on that. If you have mica powders and you've never tried that, definitely give that a try because I really, they're fun to use. Um, so, and then, okay, so here's that page that I was doing, the fun pockets. So, you know, we've got the big one here. And then you can go in here and here. And then I'm just going to leave this like writing space and then on the other side pockets. So this is kind of fun. It is three book pages, so it is a little thicker, but I just thought it, it's really fun. And then, oh, I couldn't find, <laughs> I couldn't find this and it was right in front of my face. And I just had it in my hand and showed you, put it over here, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> but these are those the packing envelopes that I turned into a page. So I can do something on here. Uh, maybe leave this uh, plain for writing or something. And then this is another one. I just thought it was cute. And you know what? I cut this out and I didn't even know that this was on the other side when I cut it out. But isn't that so cute? Nice pleasant surprise there. Okay, so that's pretty much what I got done with. This is the envelope that I just um, put all the, the mica powders, watercolors on. And yeah, I think everything else here I kind of showed. So that's what I did here tonight and um, if you see my desk right now, I just have papers, papers, papers everywhere. So here's my little beauty. So tomorrow I can add these in and then start um, decorating. So thank you so much for being on this fun journey with me and um, catch up with you tomorrow, hopefully, and I'll get some time to decorate.